Hello guys, Art Thieves here. This is the second part of my sped up stylized helicopter bot modeling tutorial. This part covers key stages of texturing this model in Substance Painter. I set my UV resolution to 2K, my padding was set to 8. I get the highest possible amount of rays on all tabs, and finally, I set my subsampling to 4x4. I apply steel painted worn preset material, play around with its color, and cover it with a light blue fill layer that will imitate either a tint or metal. I apply a rust filter to it and set its height to a negative value. I also increase the opacity of the paint layer. Remember, dim and dark colors are way less demanding than bright ones, and using them makes it harder for you to fail with your color palette. I send all of my layers to a new folder, give it a black mask, and paint selected elements with the Polygon Fill tool. Then I create a paint layer, set all of its blending options to pass through, and cover all seams manually by using the Clone Stamp tool. If you want to cover seams even better, I'd recommend to make several paint layers with different opacity settings, or to alter your brush flow now and then. I'll skip the rest of the boring routine here. Once again, I use the default stained steel material to cover my turbines and some other elements. I also make the material just a little bit darker, and add splashed dirt to it by using a fill layer. I also use a modified version of dry rubber material to paint connectors that replace robots' elbows and knees. I also made up a modified lighter version of the material I've used for robot's body and used it to highlight turbine frames. I've applied the same pair of materials to robot's boots. Also, I've added some ground dirt to them, reducing its mask balance greatly. I've used the same lighter version of the main material to cover propeller's blades. At this stage I've realized that main camera's geometry is terrible, so I've replaced the lens in 3ds Max with a basic tapered hemisphere. I've also applied steel gun matte preset material to some nozzles, and made a black material with a very high roughness to fill in some deepest gaps of the model. This is the part where I add a fill layer with ground dirt filter I've mentioned before. Finally, I make a darker version of my main material, set its height to negative value, mask it, add a paint layer to the mask, and paint panel seams and rivets with lazy mouse enabled and set to 8. I've cut out some boring painting parts here. The only thing worth mentioning is the fact that I change brush size now and then to alter size of matching seams. I place my masked layer into the folder that is also masked for me to only paint proper elements. I copy the layer, apply a different mask to it, give it a positive height value, and paint some rivets. I also add a couple of rivets to robots' turbines. Thanks for watching, guys! If you got any value from this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more stylized content. And most importantly, have a great day!